What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I kind of wanted to go over some of the Craftsman V-Series stuff that I've recently picked up. And I know Craftsman isn't really a relevant name anymore amongst, you know, car repair guys, whether you're a pro or a DIYer. I mean, the tool industry is just pretty much saturated left and right with companies from all over the world trying to get in. Um, so Craftsman has kind of been forgotten about, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the V-Series stuff because I think this is still a really good, you know, alternative to the tool truck brands and definitely worth checking out so let's go ahead and get right into it now first up on the list is this v-series double box ratcheting wrench set um, i'm going to leave a part number and link in the description for you guys to check them out um, you get sizes 10 11 12 13 14 no 15 no 16 you get 17 no 18 and you get 19. now unfortunately skips is something that craftsman is notorious for uh, which kind of sucks because most companies making you know wrench sets and stuff like that nowadays are giving you full wrench sets for the price that you're paying um, but craftsman unfortunately is still not doing that which kind of sucks but so far the few times that i've used this wrench set i absolutely love them um, and i haven't really you know ran into an issue where you know i'm missing the 15 and the 16. i'm sure the 18 i'll eventually you know use somewhere down the road but i have plenty of other wrench sets um, now this wrench set here it is a long pattern design uh, you get an i-beam style wrench which is super comfortable in the hand you get one ratcheting flex head on one side 72 teeth which hopefully you guys can hear that sounds really really good not reversible but it does have an arrow on both sides letting you know what direction you're going uh, the other side is a fixed zero degree offset side and it is six point which i really really like most double box wrenches you're going to have either a spline drive or 12 point on one side which kind of sucks because if you're putting a lot of torque on something or you're trying to break something loose you have a bigger chance of rounding something out or stripping a fastener uh, with a 12 point and slime drive than you would with a six point so definitely cool that it has a six point design on this side and as you guys can see it's a really really tight fit in there you're not going to get a lot of play and then the ratcheting side is just really really nice so so far i absolutely love these wrenches if you guys need a set of double box wrenches like i said i'm going to leave a link in the description check them out this is definitely a good way to go now the next item we're going to take a look at is this set of universal joints by craftsman now be aware that craftsman does have a few different universal sets out there um, this one is it is a pinless style, but it's got this hex design. So it's got a hex ball in there instead of, you know, like a pin or something like that. Uh, but there is another set that you guys are gonna find online that's kind of like the Gear Wrench X Core uh, style of pinless universal. And those are absolutely garbage. I don't recommend those at all. But if you guys can find these, like I said, you could probably find these at Lowe's or Ace Hardware. I haven't found them online, um, but I have found them pretty much every Ace Hardware and Lowe's that I've been in. If you guys don't have any swivel sockets or any impact swivel sockets, um, this is definitely a good way to go because it's super inexpensive. It's about 50 bucks for the set of three. Um, like I said, I know people that have this specific set and beat on them daily and have not had any issues with them. Uh, for example, this is the other uh, half inch impact swivel that I have that I beat on all the time and has never given me any issues. This is the older USA made one, so it's pinned, uh, has a collar, but you guys can see how much slimmer this one is. And this is still a very good design with that hex ball and the spring inside of it. Um, I don't know if Craftsman is going away from these and going specifically to those X core style ones like the gear wrench ones. Um, but if they are, definitely pick these up before they're gone because um, these are going to last you a long time. They're a very good set. Um, now, the quarter inch specifically, um, I was thinking of buying some magnetic uh, swivel sockets uh, just because I needed them not too long ago and one of them would have really came in handy. Um, but for example, I have a Snap On and a Sun X. And you guys can see how small those are. Um, but I also have a set of magnetic sockets from Matco, which if I throw it on here, you guys are going to be able to see. It doesn't really add a lot more space. Still really small and compact. So now I got a full set of pretty much magnetic sockets or magnetic swivel sockets um, at my disposal whenever I need them. So overall, definitely a good buy. Definitely recommend you guys check those out because um, it's definitely worth it. 
The last item on the list that we're going to be taking a look at is a set of metric and standard combination wrenches. Um, now the metric ones I've actually had for a while, um, but I just picked up the standard set because I don't have any standard combination wrenches. Um, so I went ahead and picked those up. They all come in this nice V-series cases that you can close and take with you, kind of same thing as the Mac wrenches do. Um, my only knock on this wrench set, honestly, is just how small the metric ones are. Even compared to the standard ones, this is a 19 millimeter Mac, I mean, 19 millimeter Craftsman wrench. And this is a, let's see, this is the 15 16 wrench. So the biggest wrench on the standard side. And you guys can see just how much bigger the standard wrench is even compared to the metric one. So if they would have just made, you know, the two biggest wrenches in each set the same size and kind of standardized the, the length of each wrench, at least that would have been way better, a much better value in my opinion, because people like the longer pattern wrenches. Um, these shorter wrenches like this are just kind of a thing of the past. So I'm not really sure why they did that, but overall still a very nice wrench. Um, I do have some of the Mac wrenches so you guys can check them out. They're pretty much identical the beam on the mac one's just a little bit slimmer a little bit longer um, but overall design is pretty much exactly the same the angle of the head on it the offset on the box end side is pretty much the same so overall these are i know these are going to be a good quality wrench um, just the length is the only thing honestly that i don't like especially on the metric side because metric wrenches are what i'm going to be using the most um, so they would have just made this set a little bit longer i think that would have been a really really good thing but aside from that uh, they're all quality wrenches um, i think you could find these two pretty cheap even on ebay and you know amazon and stuff like that you can find them on lowe's acehardware.com uh, nobody really carries these in store um, so you ever if you ever need to warranty when you do have to contact craftsmen but they're pretty easy um, to work with so overall guys let me know what you guys think about the craftsman v-series stuff is craftsman still something that you guys think is worth investing in or are you guys pretty much done with it aside from that guys uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, like the video subscribe uh, if you guys have any questions or anything please let me know aside from that guys thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one